Ge Li is a great example of the way in which Chinese companies are beginning to reposition themselves. They talk about themselves as a brand which is a technology innovator whose products are created in China as opposed to made in China. During 2012, Gurley pursued its ambition to become a global brand. Gurley began construction of a manufacturing plant in the US to localise production despite higher labour costs compared with its other production centres in China, Brazil, Pakistan and Vietnam. The initiative reflects the company's interest in the US market despite the cost. Gurley also promoted the brand on a giant outdoor digital screen in New York's Times Square. In the first half of 2012, it reported a striking 30% rise in profits. These were boosted by the Chinese government subsidies on energy-saving appliances and a rising middle class able to afford more comfortable living. Gurley intends to maintain its market leadership in China by developing higher-end products and expanding its share of the commercial market. In 2012, Gurley introduced its E-series of air conditioners. You can control those over the internet using China Mobile's technology. The product meets China's growing interest in home automation. Gurley has an annual production capacity of 60 million residential and 2 million commercial units. It's one of the world's largest manufacturers and marketers of air conditioners. To promote innovation and design in young students, the Gurley Cup is held in June that encourages university students to design energy-saving air conditioners.